On a responsive site, elements move and resize based on the viewport size. But sometimes you need to create a relationship between them so they stay a certain distance from each other, either vertically or horizontally. When you want to do that, use Stack. Here's how it works. Here, our elements are placed freely on the canvas. When we resize the screen, it's not the behavior we're going for. There's no spatial relationship between them. This text here is set to wrap. As the screen size gets smaller, the text moves down and overlaps the line. Stacking the elements vertically stops that from happening. Let's see how to create a stack. We already have some elements here with responsive behaviors. They'll need to be arranged in a vertical or horizontal order for you to stack them. These are one above the other, so when we select the three of them, the stack option appears in the floating action bar. The stack's direction is determined by the way the items are lined up. So if your elements are misaligned, you won't see the option to stack. These three are one above the other, so they get stacked vertically. We'll stack these two horizontally. If we check out the Layers panel, now the elements are placed together in a flex container in a layer called Stack. You can see the stack direction in the floating action bar. To remove an element from a stack, just drag it away. Keep in mind when you do this, the element gets reparented. If you want to add an element, drag it over the stack until this blue border and the word Attach appears, then drop it in. When you select a stack, the margins between the elements are indicated by these blue strips. If you want to move elements either further apart or closer together, grab this handle and drag it in either direction. You'll see the pixel on canvas value go up and down. Here in the inspector under layout, you'll find the item spacing as well. To adjust the spacing of all the elements at once, hold down shift while you drag the handles. The other elements move as well. If you want elements in a stack to overlap each other, you could add negative margins. Let's undo that. To resize the entire stack, just grab the edge and drag. When you resize this way, you'll keep the same relative spacing between the elements. When you want to reorder elements in a stack, select the one you want to move and use these arrows to move it up or down. Or you can change the order from the Layers panel. The edges of a stack container are determined by the content inside they'll move to hug the element that's furthest to the right or left. If you take this element that's way out to the side and move it in, the borders readjust. Even though they're stacked, these elements can have different responsive behaviors. You might have items that aren't really aligned in a clear vertical or horizontal order, but you still want to stack them. If you just multi-select, you won't see the option to stack. So instead, right-click and choose Stack. You can make certain changes to a stack and its child elements across breakpoints. For example, you can reorder the elements. If we move to the tablet breakpoint and switch their order, that change isn't reflected on the desktop breakpoint. But when we look at the mobile breakpoint, the change has cascaded down. We can change the elements order on mobile too, and it won't change on higher breakpoints. In this design, we want to keep the order of the elements consistent. So we'll head back to desktop Select the stack, right-click and choose Use on all breakpoints. That'll take this version of the stack and apply it on all lower breakpoints. You might want to change the direction a few elements are stacked in, but not all of them. Like these elements. We don't want the behavior of all of them to be vertical on mobile. So instead, we can apply individual stacks within the larger stack. Now, when we change to a vertical stack on mobile, the inner stacks stay horizontal. You can do this at any breakpoint. We can reposition the stack from the inspector panel under layout or by dragging it. And then realign. Aligning the stack only affects the stack itself and not the elements inside. You can adjust each element by selecting it individually. Or if you want to quickly align all the elements, you can use these align items icons. Keep in mind that when you stack elements, you're creating a new parenting relationship. So this type of change affects all breakpoints. Same thing when you add or remove elements from a stack. 
To remove an element on lower breakpoints, hold down Ctrl or Command, plus Alt or Option, and drag it out. Deleting or unstacking a stack will affect every breakpoint. If you don't want to show it at a certain breakpoint, you'll need to set it to Hide instead. And that's Stack! It's a useful tool to control the relationship between elements and maintain space between them. Now you can create and adjust stacks across breakpoints. We'll cover another powerful layout tool in the next lesson, Grid. Meet you there.